What's up, you cool cats and kittens? It's been a little bit since I made a video. And uh, I just thought since the last college I went to, I gave you guys a campus tour. I thought I'd give you guys a tour of my new campus, which is, oh, that's backwards. Maybe it'll turn around Seminole State College. Yeah, I'm back, I'm back at my roots. Um, <laughs> I don't know how many of you guys have ever been to Seminole State, but this uh, this tour video is not gonna be anywhere near as long as the OU tour. I mean, you could imagine, this is a JUCO, it's not a D1 school. I can't remember how many acres the Norman campus was that I covered, but I mean, you guys seen, I needed a scooter to cover the entire campus. Like, like this here, like I'll be able to walk this in probably like 15 minutes, but I'll go through all the buildings and I'll kind of show you all around. Whenever I go through the buildings, I'm probably not gonna talk a lot because, um, you know, there's kind of class good and stuff going on. So I, uh, I'll kind of make a big loop and circle because I've got like an hour until I have another class. So. Uh, yeah, I'll show you guys around where I graduated from. So this is like the main parking lot. We're just chilling here. I'm gonna try not to get any like tag numbers in the video, but these are all student parking places, other than this one, obviously. But many a time have I parked in accidental staff parking, which are yellow curbs. I've got a ticket or two from them. Granted, they're only like six dollars, but I mean not six, ten, ten dollars. Alright, here we're headed into the David L. Bourne Library. This place is pretty chill. I think Cornwall High School... Uh-oh. We got problems. I think Cornwall High School Library is honestly bigger than this. It's very, very small. We got a nice little chill, chill area here. Classrooms back down that hall. Hey, check out the, the peep though. Repping the CC socks. A little low ankles too. Swag. Yeah, so I've got a pretty light schedule this year uh, because my plan is just this semester, I'm taking a few classes that'll transfer. And after uh, this semester in the fall, um, I'm gonna be taking, uh, I'm gonna be majoring in animal science at uh, OSU Stillwater. So that sounds fun. Um, by the time I decided I was gonna do that, it was like three or four weeks before the spring semester was gonna start. So I was like, man, that'd be a crunch to have to try to get to Stillwater in like four weeks. So, and find everything to get situated there. So I thought, I'm gonna see what I can take in Seminole. Plus it's cheaper, you know, save me a lot of money. So just seeing what I could take and uh, Got enrolled. So there must not be anybody in here yet today, but this is um, the Jeff Johnson Fine Arts. Yeah. Oh. I've had a, I didn't know somebody was in there. I've had a couple classes in there, and it's just like the auditorium. Like it's it's pretty neat. Uh, to have it's kind of more like the auditorium type of classroom. It's pretty cool cool experience but I'm gonna chill on this bench for a minute but this semester I have ag economics um, a fundamentals of soil science which I just got out of a little bit ago and then I have um, intro to plant and soil science I don't know why I couldn't remember that and that's all I have Tuesday and Thursday is just plant and soil science like or like in the morning is soil science and then in the afternoon is plant and soil science so like that's all my tuesday and thursday consists of 
so hopefully that doesn't get like too confusing or anything like that but um yeah pretty light schedule only 11 hours um that's all i could take that's all they had that i didn't that's all that they offered that i hadn't already taken that would transfer to my degree so this is what i had to deal with all right so as we see on the fancy little letters here this is a mill phillips social science building this is where like the government class the psychologies um the histories all this different stuff that's where the that's where this is located that is my government or that is a government classroom that jeffrey christensen the goat the goat of government that's where he is this, uh, i've had some good experiences there are no mistakes just happy little accidents that is words to live by anyway um, I've had some awesome times in this this building that's like an auditorium type classroom I had a side class in there that's really fun so. yeah so basically what I'm getting at is that I'm just that guy I just know this I, I'm, I run this place actually um, they gave me the key to campus like after I graduated and yeah, I'm probably one of few people that graduated, but still came back to the same JUCO. Yeah, this is my, let's see, two concurrent, four. So this will be my seventh semester at Seminole State. That's pretty crazy, right? Two of those were concurrent. So if you want to count those, then throw them in. But I only had three hours apiece. I'll count them. Right now we're going into the... Basketball gym. I don't know if I can like be in here or not. I mean, coaches and stuff are in here. This is like the trophy case. The majority of stuff that Seminole State has is, ba is baseball championships. Let's see if I can't fall down the stairs real quick. Sorry, I had that zoomed in. Class in here. Yeah, so this is where the Trojans and the SEC Bellis play. The Bellis is the women's basketball team. That's just like what they call it. I don't really know. But yeah, so not very big at all. You know, Juco, they redid the floor. It looks like it looks really cool. It used to be just all like the yellow wood. Yeah, it looked really ugly, but it's pretty cool now. It looks like they did a lot of upgrades actually. Redid the ceiling, got new air conditioners. Wow, they really needed that. I'm not gonna lie, this place was super ghetto whenever I was here before. So like up here we have the, the bookstore and the student union. That's like like college cafeteria, that's what that means. Um, so I've never eaten in there personally, but the bookstore is pretty cool. Um, Back this way. Oh, the, so we have a giant pond right in the middle of the class, uh, right, right in the middle of campus. I'm not gonna show that to you guys because I do not want to walk that far. But like behind Rain Field House, it's like the pond is right behind here. And so whenever you go back, plumb that away, you have the uh, Heli Caney, Caney Heli. Blah, 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 blah. Can I not say his name? Um, Enoch Kelly Haney. Um, that's the Kelly Haney Center there and uh, it's like a they have a big ballroom but they also have most of like the nursing classes over that way so there's that and then, that's like right off the highway and then you kind of go over to like some of more like the new dorm buildings uh, I don't think I can even go in there so I mean I, I wouldn't walk all the way over there anyway but anyways that's over here but this is like the main cl class part of campus so we'll run through here real quick they added automatic doors oh just one set that sucks there's the bookstore and the student union looks pretty popping right now so let's slip through and see what's going on Looks like baseball players. Got 
the Duffe going on. Get some studiers already. Second, second day of the semester, we're already studying. Okay. That's what's up. I'm glad to see kids grinding it out already. Now, right over here, in this building right here, the building is called the Walking Stick. That's what we call it. It's just a, it's like, it says Student Services Center, which, yeah, basically, but what I would call it, I would call it like the business type of center because that's like where admissions is, that's where you get enrolled, um, that's where the business office is, like where you go pay fees and stuff like that. It's where you take um, placement tests, get your student ID. So a lot of like the upkeep of being like a college student, that's where like most of that, that's like for pretty much all of that stuff is. Um, so right here, we're going in uh, under this little walkway. This is uh, the Coclasier. I can't believe I remembered how to uh, pronounce that. But we've had a few classes in here. This is like more of where like the miscellaneous, like feeling like the language classes. That's art. I had an art class one time right in there. Um, this is where a lot of like the business classes are. Brad is awesome, man. He's like the best teacher ever. That's a Microsoft Office classroom. I had that. I've basically taken almost everything here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a joke. But no, um, on, on a real note, like, I was, I knew that I was probably gonna, whatever classes that I took here, I was, I had probably been in the classroom before. <laughs> Cause like I've been all over this campus in my previous six semesters, and it just so happens that the same lady, the ag advisor, she teaches all of my classes and my labs. Um, I'm not gonna take you guys in there. I don't even know what that building's called, and it's just like student support services. Like there's nothing important in there at all. I think I walked, I used to walk through it like whenever I would go to Tanner, like when it was pouring down rain, because I could go under this ramp here and go through and it would be less time in the rain. So that was the only time I ever, ever went through that building. So, um, where was I talking about? The Scott building, that's what this is called. But no, I, um, the same teacher teaches all my classes. So I have technically three classes, two of them have labs. So we'll say that I have five. She teaches all five, and they're all five in the same room in 504 Tanner. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm fixing to take you guys in Tanner. I just I just mentioned it, so I'll show you guys where, where the good stuff happens at. Tanner is like the, the biggest classroom building we have here. And like all of like the English, like comp type of classes are in there. But pretty much all the math, they have a language arts center, which is like a computer lab and then they have a math center and in there they have like tutors for those subjects and like subjects related to that tanner is also where like all of the like lab classes like science and stuff like that and they have most of the ag classes that's where that's what tanner is uh that's the majority of what tanner is i've had a class in tanner I'm positive almost every semester that I've been here. Don't make fun of me because I'm short of breath. Chill. Chill out on me for a minute. I ain't been walking. I ain't been doing nothing for like the past while. Like I work, but at my work I don't have to do very much. That requires like a lot of like physical labor. So Oh, hey, we're back here to the Seminole State Emblem now. This is this is where I was at earlier, so I'm kind of kind of walking back around to the big parking lot that I showed you guys before, because that's usually where I would come in at. That's the easiest place to park. But um, SEC's weird about their parking, man. Like, 
they didn't tell me beforehand they probably had a sign up somewhere i didn't see it never did that blank curb or like so white curbs or unmarked curbs are where students can park blue are like handicap obviously and red are like fire zones you can't park there but yellow is a staff parking now wouldn't it make sense to write staff like on the parking spots yes it would wouldn't it but they look just like the student ones except the curb was yellow i didn't know that nobody told me that so that's why i folded like I'm pretty sure it was my first semester here. That's when I got that parking ticket. There's my girl, Melissa Bryant. She's teaching a math class right now. Melissa is an awesome teacher. I had her for statistics and um, college algebra. And bro, if it wasn't for her, I would not have passed college algebra at all. Like, it was bad. That was the worst class ever. Hey, there's Jared Tolliot. I like that dude. I should have said hi. He probably would have liked to see me. I'll take you to the labs real quick. Like, here's the math lab. It's just like, you just come in here and chill. The English lab is really way cool. So you can kind of you can kind of tell like they have quite a few places for like us students to like just chill here, you know. It's a pretty cool place, honestly. Like it's cheap. The classes are super easy. Like my classes, what I mean, like it's the same stuff that I would be learning in Stillwater, just easier. So like I've walked a pretty good ways through Tanner. I don't want to get like random people in it and make them think that I'm videoing them. So like it's hard to video like the halls and stuff. And finally, my home for the semester. Tanner 504. <laughs> yeah, you can bet whose stuff is still in here. So that's a pretty extended and stretched out um tour of our EDBD campus we uh we're chill here you know it's just us so we got that dog in us even though we're little and we're a little junior college our athletics are awesome our baseball is good almost every year um our, our softball team goes to um, the national tournament like the past three years, four years maybe. Um, last year, last year, our women's, our women's soccer team, we don't have men's soccer, we just have women's soccer. They went to, they won national runner up. So that's pretty crazy in the NJCAA, National Junior College Athletic Association, I believe. Um, we didn't even have a soccer field until like this past year. Like, we got a soccer field built. We got a new sports facility. New softball, baseball, and soccer field. We were, bro, we didn't even have our own soccer field. We just went to national runner-up. <laughs> Who does that? Seminole State actually does. <laughs> Sorry, but um, no. Men's basketball is usually pretty good. Women's basketball, I think they're all right. They're not bad. I don't know about volleyball. I've never heard anything about the volleyball. We have a women's volleyball team. I've never heard anything about them. We have, I have, uh, we have a volleyball girl sitting right here that I was told she plays volleyball. I don't know. I don't even know her. But we'll see how good they are. Um, but other than that, man, we're cool. So if I think of something else, I might throw it in. But as far as I know, that's really about all I can tell you guys about Seminole State. There's not much to it, but this place is cool. Definitely recommend this um, to a beginning student like around Seminole County, close to Seminole. But it's way better than just going straight to a big college. 
I had graduated from here already and I still struggled at a big college. Like, start out small. Cause this is like a 4A high school. I mean, I think the total enrollment is like 1500 here. So it's, it's crazy small. But other than that, really that's all I got to tell you guys about Big Seminole State. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully um, you enjoy our little campus. I know it's not near as cool as like OU or whatever, but we have a big budget difference. So chill with all that. Um, but I guess we'll cut it off there. Um, God loves you. God loves me. God loves everybody. I love you guys too. And we will see you guys later. Peace out.